Hey, what's up my chemistry people? We are going to continue with some fantastic calculations using significant figures. Here we get a little more complex when we talk about multi-step calculations. All right, let's get this party started. Okay, now I'm going to show you the trick that I like to use when working with significant figures in multi-step calculations. You're going to complete the calculations using the order of operations like you do in any math class. As you take a look at this first example, I'm going to first add the two numbers in the parentheses. 0 0.054 plus 1.3. As you look at this, addition, our final answer has to match the measurement that is least precise. This measurement is precise to the thousandths place. This measurement is precise to the hundredths place. This one is less precise. But what I like to do, since this is multi-step, is I just write out the answer, 1.384, kilograms and then I make note of where I should have rounded to if this was just the only step of the calculation and if this was the only step I would round to the hundredths place because that would match this measurement here but I don't round until I'm completely finished with the calculation my next step is to multiply this value by 5.4 times 5.4 Notice that my calculator, using that unrounded value for the first operation, gives me a final answer of 7.4736. But how many significant figures should I use? Well, this measurement, easy enough, now we're doing multiplication, total sig figs, two significant figures. This measurement, as it's written out, has four significant figures, but remember, it really should only have three. So as I compare three total sig figs to two sig figs, so my final answer should have just two sig figs, in this case, 7.5 kilograms times meters squared. Okay, let's take a quick look at this next one, kind of a doozy. I'm first gonna take care of each of the things in parentheses. As I look here, I'm subtracting two numbers, so I want least precise. This measurement is precise to the ones place, this one to the tens place. So as I perform that, operation in my calculator, I get 979 meters squared, but it should really be rounded here to the tens place. So if this was the only operation I was doing, I would round that to 980, but I've got a couple of those steps. I also have to do 84.2 times 31.3. Here I get 1,696.46 seconds squared. As I, as, I th as I think about this, it's multiplication, so it's fewest total. This measurement has three sig figs. This one also has three sig figs. So if I were to just do this operation, I would round this number to this point here, three significant figures. Okay, so I'm gonna rewrite this one here to keep things straight. It's gonna be this number times 979 divided by 1,696.46. Calculator time. 4.198 times 979. I like to go one step at a time. Divide by 1696.46. And end up with 2.422, all this jazz. Now as you think about it, these operations, multiplication and division, fewest total significant figures. Well, this measurement has four. This one should have just two. And this one should have just three. So the measurement of fewest total sig figs is this one right here. I would round this answer to 2.4 kilograms times meters squared per second squared. We've got some really fun physics units here. All right, now that finishes off for significant figures. Very confusing, I know. At first, it takes a lot of practice, and lucky for you, it's gonna be something we practice all year long.